place of culverts. Tuck Field and Eaton Park cost us two hundred and forty six thousand five hundred dollars. Uh, the it's seven point three cents per thousand dollars evaluation. And I'll let our public works director give you the wherewithal on this one. Talking three culverts, I think. Yeah. Um, Two weeks ago, this was two articles, uh, Tuck Field separate right. from Eaton Park. Uh, to be honest with you, they're, they're both in the same bathtub, um, so we put them both together. Uh, no sense in confusing the issue. Although they are, you could literally do one side of the, the park and yeah. literally then have to pick up the equipment and do the other side of the park. Yeah. So at first, that's why they were looked at as two um, separate issues. I think the main point to understand is the drainage from this building due south <coughs> all passes through Tuck Field. On a regular basis, um, the water comes out of the catch basins down uh, at Tuck Field, uh, the parking lots in particular, um, right up out of the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's hydro what we call hydraulically surcharged. Uh, the problem is. Um, we have two pipes going into one pipe the same size. You just can't, uh, never should have been taxed that way. Mm. Uh, can't handle the flow. So it'll continue to cause uh, problems. And uh, this also addresses the major culvert under Park Ave, which um, is a uh, metal pipe. We've seen all of our metal pipes in town uh, erode, mm. dissolve, yeah. fail uh, due to uh, acid rain. Uh, it's just a matter of time. So while we're in there, we combine both of these projects together mm -hmm. to get a better uh, bang for our buck. In other words, uh, to be able to attract a contractor that would give us a fair and reasonable price. Is, is it fair to say that you, while you correct this problem, combining the two projects, if you will, mm -hmm. this means longer life in the future because you shouldn't have to go back True. Again, for rusted out pipes and all that stuff, <coughs> we'll do one coordinated project. Yes, and, and you know, part of doing these projects together, the, it talks about King's Kingdom and all those things, um, is that Park Ave is on our plan to uh, pave. It's, it gets a lot of uh, vehicular traffic, a lot of pedestrian traffic, and um, in all honesty, I can't really step forward and want to pave the, this road uh, with those culverts. Uh, in this condition, right. it would be a, a poor investment. Of so one lump resources. sum project, right. and you cure that for we'll get it done. years. Yes. I'll move that we go ahead with this. You might, uh, people might want to understand that this, these particular pipe, pipes take all the drainage, not just in uh, the park area, but they, High Street, Toll Avenue, Academy Avenue, Tuck Field, Park Avenue, and Winnicott Road mm -hmm. all drain through these three pipes. Right. And it will be so stipulated in the article. It's already it in the article, but right. I want people to understand this takes in a whole area of the community, and the drains, the amount of water in there is very, very high. The yes. ground is surcharged. Yeah, excellent. Jim, do you have any questions? Yeah, and, 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 and right now, it's, you say, yeah, I mean, is it a safety issue? That was picked up. But you said, talk about the traffic that's going over that road. You're talking about the school yeah. buses going over that yes. road and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, are we, are we talking safety here? We are. I mean, we've, we're, I wasn't here then, but I mean, you've had a fire truck fall through on, was it High Street? Due Five to a, corners. a metal pipe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The metal pipes over in Green and Gentian are Swiss yeah. cheese. Um, we're seeing it all. Uh, Brad Street, that one collapsed. Not within a lot the last year. So yes, this it's a it's a it's a critical street. I think it's a, mm -hmm. a, a juncture street where mm -hmm. everybody comes through. Yeah. And um, especially with its proximity to the school, to the park system, mm -hmm. it is of a very high priority. Mm -hmm. And Chris, you will be using the new um, pipe, not not the old everything's probably the gonna be the uh, Either a PVC pipe PVC or a high-density polyethylene. Yeah. So any culverts are. Is there a motion? Yes. I'll so move that we put it on the warrant. I'll yes. second. Yes. Uh, Mr. Chairman, before you vote, I would just, I think there's an, a correction to be noted. Under the words Toll Avenue, 
it says as the current culvert is undersized because we're talking to it would be culverts are. Uh. Oh, okay. Remember we're talking both sides. So coming out of Park Ave, coming out of Park parking lot and under <laughs> from Eaton Park. That's right, Tim. Okay. Can, can we stipulate the PVC pipe in there just to make the public happier I, I because just, they know about the other pipes rotting? I think we make... Leave it up to them to the they, pipe. They, they're they're, they're the, the ones that decide pipe. what the best one is. I'm not going to tell them which pipe to use. Never just the ones no, that... But if he knows that's what, he's, that's what he's been putting in. Yeah. So. Might make the public happier. We don't, we don't have any clay pipe or, or... I have very little metal pipe in my yard. And so. Good. So we have a motion and a second for this Warren article. Do you need a, Do you need anything changed? Uh, just that uh, we're making it as the current culverts are under size. Did they decide there was two or there's one? There's multiple in that okay. area. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so with the... I'll correct. make a motion with the amendment. Yes. Yeah. All those in favor? Unanimous. Good. Thank you.